हे गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग ग्राफिक्स क्वेश्चन इज डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू फोर काय इज नाईन्टी मिलीमीटर अँड मायनर एक्सिस इज सेवन्टी मिलीमीटर कन्स्ट्रक्ट अँड एलिप्स युजिंग कॉन्सेंट्रिक सर्कल मेथड ॲज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन वी विल मेक अ लाईन ऑफ नाईन्टी मिलीमीटर विच इज इक्वल टू नाईन सेंटीमीटर दिस इज एफ वन एन एफ टू taking the midpoint as o we will make a line of 9 we will make a line as na perpendicular line of 7 cm 3.5 cm above and 3.5 cm below now we will name the point c and d putting the pointer at f1 and taking the measure c f1 we will make a circle at the center o here this is this whole line from this point to this point is the major axis and this is the minor axis taking the center as o and the distance oc will make a circle at oc and od c and d is the minor axis and 1 and 7 are the major axis these steps are already been uploaded to the first video you can find the link of the video in the description or in the i card above the second question is construct an ellipse using arc of circle method given major axis is 100 mm and minor axis is 70 mm draw a line ab of 100 mm which is equal to 10 cm draw another line cd of 7 cm 3.5 cm above and 3.5 cm below by setting the line ab with center c and half ab as radius cut and cut oa at from c and ob mark it as f1 and f2 f1 and f2 are the foci of of foci of the ellipse mark 3. on o f1 1 2 and 3 taking f1 and f2 as center and a1 as a1 as radius make four arcs taking f1 and f2 as center and b1 as radius cut this four arcs from f2 and f1 respectively repeat the same step for point 2 and point 3 taking the point p1 p2 p3 p10 p11 p12 first join point a p1 and p2 similarly join all the remaining points p12 p11 p10 to a and d and remaining all points to the respective points here the ellipse is ready the question is draw a straight line ab of any length mark a point f 60 mm from point ab trace the path of a point p moving in such a way that The ratio of its distance from point F is equal to the distance of straight line AB. As given in the question, this is line AB. Here I have taken it 12 cm. CD is the perpendicular bisector of AB and marking here point F at 6 cm. 
this is point V midpoint of C and F now marking three points one two and three on right side of V now we have to make a perpendicular line from one two and three we will take radius C1 and center as V we will cut two points one over here and second one over here taking C2 as radius and V as center making mark two arcs like this and similarly taking C3 as radius and V as center cutting two arcs First join these three points using a French curve as these three points are joined here now we will join V and this point using the French curve as we have joined these points over here we will join first we will join these three points then we will join this V and this point here our parabola is ready The question is draw a rectangle of side 100 mm and 70 mm. Inscribe a parabola in it. We will start by making a rectangle ABCD. AD is 10 cm and AB is 7 cm. Second step is to divide the whole rectangle into two equal half ABFE and EFCD. In the third step we will divide the rectangle a B F A into 5 equal parts. Next step is to divide the line A B into 5 equal parts. For dividing the line A B into 5 equal parts, first we have to make an ray of A A dash. The angle A dash A and B is 30 degree. Next step is that we have to take a point B dash at 5 cm and join B and B dash. We have to take 4 points. At A dash and B, these four points are equidistant from each other, which divides the line A, dash, A and B in five equal parts. In next step, we have to draw a line parallel to B and B dash from point 1, 2, 3, and 4. This will lead to division of line AB into five equal half. Then we have to join all the points, this all five points, to the point E. Here we get the point to make a half parabola. The fourth line touching the first line is the first point. Third line touching second line is the second point. Second line touching third line is the third point. First line touching fourth point is the fourth point. And the last point is the fifth point. Using French curve, first we will join these four points. Then these two points. And at last we will join these two points after joining these two points our parabola half parabola is completed to uh, com complete the remaining parabola we can repeat the steps which we have done over here in this rectangle or there is a easier way too first we will divide the other rectangle into five equal parts putting the pointer at e and taking the radius e and point one we will make an arc over here the radius is E and point 1 similarly we will take point E as the center and take radius E and point 2 and we will make a arc at this second line E and third point as a radius we will take set E as center and make an arc on third line similarly we will do this with the fourth line here we got all the four points now we will first join these three points using French curve, then remaining these two points and at last these points. Here our parabola is ready. The last question for this video is a point P is at 40 mm and 60 mm respectively from a straight line, which are at right angles to each other. Draw a hyperbola passing through this point with 15 mm distance from each line. First step is to make line OA and OB of any measurement perpendicular to each other. Mark a point P at 60 mm from 
OA and 40 mm from OB. Through P, draw a line CD and EF parallel to OA and OB respectively. Take 4 points 1, 2, 3, 4 on PD. It is not necessary that these 4 points should be equidistant. Join 1, 2, 3 and 4 with O, cutting PF into 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash and 4 dash. Draw line parallel to PF from 1, 2, 3 and 4. Make line parallel to PD from 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash and 4 dash such that line 1 dash should intersect with 1, 2 dash should intersect with 2, 3 dash should intersect with 3 and 4 dash with 4. Take point 5, 6, 7, 8 on line PE and repeat the steps. Here we got 4 points and here also we got 4 points. Total we have got 8 points. Now we will join this point using French curve. First join these 3 points. Then join these 2 points. At last join these 2 points. Similarly join these 4 points. Here the hyperbola is ready.